Hi guys, it's David at Humble Trekker Channel. How you all doing out there? Today I'm going to be reviewing the Fire Maple Camp Cook Set. So let's open up the package and see what we find inside. This Camp Cook Set comes from Gear Best and it costs $20 including shipping. It comes out in this mesh bag, which is nice and roomy. Sometimes you get one of these bags that's so tight it's difficult to get the, the whole set in and out. There's a lid, two plastic cooking utensils, spoon type things, a uh, cleaning pad, scouring pad, two plastic soup bowls or whatever you want to call them, two plastic bowls, the saucepan of uh, 1.1 litres, fold out plastic and metal hands and a saucepan. It's made out of an aluminium alloy it's described as and it is also described as being non-stick. Just a couple of the details it's got drainage holes here for pouring and a pouring spout. The whole package weighs about one pound and if you remove the plastic cooking stuff so you just look at the, the saucepan and the, uh, the frying pan, which is probably quite interesting to know. Just this together weighs 12 ounces. The saucepan is six inches across and three inches deep. The frying pan is again six inches across, one inch deep. And the frying pan nestles, nests into the, sauce, the saucepan, so you get a total height when you're packing it of uh, just over three inches. My frame of reference for cooking sets for comparison is the traditional good old standard Trangia cook set, the 27, which comes in, this is 1.5 litres I think this pan. And of course when you get this Trangia kit you need to use one of these lifting handles. And I, just to make a comparison, so this is my saucepan and my frying pan, which I actually inherited from my mother-in-law, and this is from the 80s. So this stuff, buy once, it will last you a lifetime. So the price difference between these, these cost a few more dollars, one or two more dollars, if you want to put this together. So I'm not going to judge this as a cheap piece of kit because really, uh, to get this, you know, if you pay a couple more dollars to get the Trangia gear, it's going to last you a lifetime, absolutely. So this stuff is going to be judged just on its performance. I'm not going to say this is a piece of kit that falls into that category of good for the money because for around $20, you can... If you look online, there's absolutely a huge array of cooking equipment. And I know for a fact, you can get the Trangia gear for just a couple more dollars than 20 to have a similar type arrangement. I don't have a Trangia frying pan. I've got some old, uh, just standard non-stick frying pan, which the handle's been taken off of, which I use as my frying pan and my lid. So it just goes to show, you don't need to buy any high-tech, tactical looking gear you can get per cook perfectly well out in the outdoors with any old stuff you can pick up from a thrift store. I'm going to get the show on the road by boiling up some water for some coffee and then I'm going to be getting the frying pan out and making an omelette. It's claimed to be non-stick so an omelette is a nice sticky bit of food that I'm going to be cooking just to check that. I'm cooking on the free soldier wood burning stove. I've got a video review of this. If you want to check that out go back and look at my old videos and you'll see it. The free soldier stove and I'll include a link down below. And this has only been on here for a couple of minutes and it's already boiling. So, I'll make my coffee. Pan's on, heating up. Let's get a bit of bacon in there. No oil, all the fat and the grease will come from the bacon. I've got my handy dandy spatula here. I'll stir it around. Actually, it's uh, shrinking down. I can get a bit more bacon in there. It's going to be good. There we go. It's going to be a big, thick omelette bacon and mushrooms. I've been searching for mushrooms in the woodland and luckily I found a bunch of really nice woodland mushrooms already in a paper bag. I'll slice these up and get them in there. Oh yeah, that's nicely cooking. Let's crack in the eggs because I'm starving. No time for ceremony. One. You break that up a bit. 
Is it going to be a one egg omelette or two egg omelette? I'll have to put some more wood in here. First of all, I'll have to get the omelette cooking. It's going to be a two egg omelette. Get the other egg. The naked chef, here we go, look at this. Oh, this is definitely going to test the non-stickability of this pan. The lid fits on the saucepan, that's good to keep the heat in there. I think it's good to go. Well, the proof of the omelette's in the eating, so let's give it a go. <clears throat> oh, blimey, that's delicious. Let me eat this and I'll get back to the conclusion about this uh, free maple fire cook set. Okay, so this is supposed to be non-stick and non-stickability in uh, your camp cooking gear is, is really useful because there's nothing worse than, you know, you cook up and then you've got all your, your grime on your pan and you can't get it off. And I think, I don't think they're lying, I think this is pretty good non-stick. I'm just eating it and I'm just scraping it here with this uh, plastic spoon and all that burnt on egg is coming off just on a river, you know, just with a dry rub. So, well done, Fire Maple. It's non stick. Well advertised. Overall, the pan, how did it survive? It didn't buckle. These plastic handles didn't melt. <coughs> That's just a five minute test, but yeah. It didn't fail on the immediate use. Pretty good on the frying pan. Let's grab the saucepan and see how that did. Again, no signs of any melting on these plastic handles. So it's, it looks like they have used some pretty high performance uh, thermoplastic, which isn't gonna melt straight away. Which is gonna be a worry with all your plastic handles and your cooking gear. Uh, just cooked uh, coffee in it, so there's not much to see inside. See if there's any buckling on the bottom. No, nice and straight. Straight all the way around, all the way around. Just got the soot on it. Yeah, not too bad. So, overall, I think uh, this fire maple kit for 20 quid, if you like the look of it, it's nice and light, packs down nice and small. It's got useful handles which aren't going to let you down. It's got the lid. All in all, you've got a full camping kit there for 20 bucks. You've got those couple of little plastic bowls that come with it. Yeah, why not? If you're in the market, for camp cook set, check out the Fire, Ma Fire Maple kit uh, from Gearbest. Gearbest, the link's on the screen down here where you can purchase it or it's down in the description box. And uh, thanks for watching the video. Take it easy guys, thanks for coming by. Hope you've enjoyed this video, I've enjoyed making it. I love the cooking videos. If you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.